This is the fifth Raspberry Pi I've deployed around in the house and they're all each doing something cool. I'll go through them one by one. One, RetroPie. RetroPie is a collection of classic game emulators and it's a really awesome first project because nerds have done most of the hard work for you already. There's super easy walkthroughs to follow if you want to download the image and uh, you know add your own ROMs from your backup collection yourself or <coughs> virtual man if you know where to look <coughs> virtual man you can find pre-built game collections ready to go it's become somewhat of a thanksgiving and christmas tradition for me to kind of go back and play some classic games and i can't wait to uh experience some of these with my son obviously a system like this will kind of make the great base for a MAME cabinet, but they also play just fine with a 1080p monitor and uh, game controllers. Speaking of game controllers, when I was first testing this stuff out, I just grabbed like the cheapest $10, you know, Super Nintendo style controller I could find on Amazon. It worked, but it's kind of crappy. This 8-bit dough one was way, way nicer. It feels uh, as good as an original Nintendo one. And it's Bluetooth to boot. Super awesome. But I did eventually move from playing Nintendo Classics to uh, Street Fighter. And uh, in that case, I was really stoked when 8BitDo launched this arcade stick. This came out uh, around Christmas this year. And, uh, you know, I, I love the look. It's kind of NES Advantage with like a dash of Teenage Engineering. It's, uh, it's super awesome. And I'll, I'll put links for all this stuff down below. But I love all these 8-bit dough controllers, especially this arcade stick. But yeah, RetroPie. I could uh, sit here and play these classic video games all day, but that's not what this video is about. Um, we can go deeper later, but for now, I'm going to keep going through what the rest of the pies in my house are doing. Number two, pie hole. So, pie hole's not much to look at, but man, is it dope. It is billed as a black hole for internet advertising, and that's basically what it is. But unlike, say, Adblock or you know anything that you'd run in your browser, this runs like at the router level. So everything on your home network, all your computers, all your mobile devices, anything on your Wi-Fi goes through Piho, and Piehole is really good at smacking down things that are tracking you and constantly phoning home. Highly recommended. Number three, hoops. Another headless pie that does one thing on this dusty shelf. Number three, hoops. If you're an Apple user that likes home automation, surely you've noticed that all this stuff comes in like three flavors. HomeKit, Google Assist, and Alexa. Hoops lets all that other stuff talk to HomeKit. So this FFmpeg plugin lets my Wise cameras talk to it. And Nest Cam, you got it, lets the Nest Cam talk to it. So, you know, I've got a Nest Outdoor camera, I've got like three Nest cameras in my basement, and uh, you know, that's all they do. Hoob sits in the middle and lets stuff from these other systems plug in to the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. Um, it's not perfect, they're not as fast as the native cameras, like they take a second to spin up, but they work. Um, and, you know, I still have full control of them in their native apps, but it's nice to have them all under this roof. So, yeah, hoobs. Number four, my clock. We had this really janky Samsung monitor we were going to throw away at the office. And, well, it's kind of self-explanatory. One thing to note. Throughout this video, I've talked about Raspberry Pis like they're one thing, but really, it's a family of computers. And in this case, I went with the cheapest $10, I believe it's the Wireless Zero model. Um, the other ones, you know, I've also used the 3Bs and the 4Bs, which are, you know, $20 to $30. But this one is the Wireless Zero, and it was 10 bucks because it's not doing anything except driving a clock, which is really just um, kind of a full page view of a website 
running the clock <laughs> on a server. So it's not doing much at all. But yeah, it was a good way to uh, make use of this garbage monitor. And also good practice for kind of learning how to SSH in and work on this thing from the command line via terminal. If any of this stuff interests you, please let me know in the comments and I can like put a link to the source code on my blog or something. I'll follow up if you want me to. On with the show. Number five, Octoprint. I think I really may have saved the best for last. All right, so Octoprint basically is a web-based front end for your 3D printer. It lets you, you know, print it over the network. You can drop files on it. You can take control over the axes and tools and view it on a webcam. And speaking of the webcam, it can automatically record time lapses as it's actually printing like this. It's super, super dope. Before Octoprint, if I wanted to print from my office on the second floor, I'd have to walk all the way down to the basement with a thumb drive and stick it in the printer. So now I can sit at my desk in my office and either make or download a model and, and uh, bring it into Prusa Slicer and slice it on my desktop. And instead of just exporting G-code, I can either export the G-code and send it over the network, or there's now a little send to Octoprint button which will let it fire over and start the print automatically if you want. In this case, I'm going to want to check things out and tell it to print by myself. Google-eyed viewers may notice that this is a Raspberry Pi case and not a Benchy. I discovered at 2 a.m. that my basement is too cold for the bed to heat up. So I'm going to need to solve that problem later, probably with a space heater. But for now, we can watch this printer print its own Raspberry Pi case via time lapse created by Octoprint, of course. And one more thing. I think I'm gonna have to go pick up a sixth Pi because recently Carbide 3D just announced that they've got a Raspberry Pi version of Carbide Motion. So, gonna have to try, right? <laughs>